Welcome to my tutorial. Within the next 4 minutes or so you should be able to create a simple boat model in Blender version 2.79. To begin we will just click off this opening message to show the default startup file. This cube is what we will work on creating our boat from. To change your orientation, hold and drag with the middle mouse button. First I'll go over the tools and hotkeys I will be using. To start, transformation tools. Translate is to change position, or more importantly, the position of selected components. This is done using the hotkey G. Rotate is pretty self-explanatory, do this with the R key. And scale just means to change size. This is done using the hotkey S. All of these will simply go in reference to your viewpoint, and are difficult to use reliably without aligning them to an axis denoted by the colored lines. Red being the x-axis, or side to side, green being the y-axis, or forward and back, and blue being the z-axis, or up and down. Keep note of this, or you will easily forget your orientation. These directions can be locked to by simply pressing the corresponding key for which axis you wish to follow. For example, if I wish to make the cube shorter, which I do, I can select the object with the right click, then press S and Z to do so. Do the same process with the x-axis to make the shape thinner. Next I'll show how to change views using the numpad. This will be very important for the first stage. To change to orthographic view, hit 5 on the numpad. This makes every length to scale regardless of perspective. Then use the 3 key to view from the side. From here I am going to start creating the basic shape of my boat's hull by changing to edit mode with this control down the bottom. Then use Ctrl R to make a loop cut that slices the cross section of the shape and the scroll wheel to increase the number of cuts I want to make. In this case, 2 is appropriate. Left click to begin sliding those cuts, then click again to permanently place them. For moving these vertices into shape, it is important to select all the way through the object. To do this we need to change the viewport shading to wireframe. This can be done back and forth quickly with the Z key, I do this often. Next, in order to select the vertices on the other side of the shape, I need to use the block select tool. Do this by pressing B, and then clicking and dragging across the vertices you need. I will speed this part up, but I'm just using the tools I've already explained. Next you will need to move to the front view. Do this quickly with the numpad 1 key, and shape the cross section of the hull. Here I use the scale tool bound to the x-axis to easily bring the two points together. Again, repeat this process till you have a basic hull shape. Once this is complete, feel free to exit orthographic mode and take a look at the shape as it currently is. See the squared off front? That's not how a proper boat should look. Now I'm going to make the nose smaller, but first, I'll make another loop cut about one third of the length from the front to keep the sides further back parallel. This line will also mark the front of our cabin. Now select all vertices in front of this line, then scale them along the x-axis to pinch the nose of the vessel into shape. From here we won't need the wireframe view anymore, and we'll be switching to solid view mode again. Now I'm going to begin creating the cabin and deck area. To do this, first use the loop cut tool to create a line to form the back of your cabin, as well as the back of the deck area. Also remember to include loop cuts at the sides, or at this case, I've done it symmetrically using three cuts. Then change to face select mode, and use block select to select these two faces and use the extrude region tool on the left to bring the roof of the cabin up, and repeat to push the floor of the deck down. We now have a fully functioning 3D model, which can be saved using the .blend format or exported to many different formats. I will now export as .fbx, which can be interpreted by many pieces of 3D software, including Unreal Engine 4 and Microsoft's Paint 3D program. Thank you for watching and hopefully paying attention to my tutorial. I hope you learned enough in this short time period to create other simple designs.